Hello children, in this video I am going to explain 10th standard arithmetic progression exercises 1.2 to 17 sum. See, we will see the question now what they have given. Find the 20th term from the last term of the AP 3, 8, 30, 253. See here they are asking to find 20th term from the last, which is the last term here 253. From this side, this you have to consider as a first term. Next, before this, what is what will be now that you have to consider as a second term. Then before that, what will be that you have to consider as a third term like that. 20th term from the last we want to find it here, not from the starting. Actually, here first term is 3, second term is 8, 13. But we want to find the 20th term from the last means this is the first term we have to consider. 253 is the first term you have to take. 253 you have to take as A or A1. Then you have to find the 20th term from the last. Okay. So for that what you have to do here. Here anyhow D will be same. And one more thing I want to say, we, say you here. See first you write uh, whatever the values they have given uh, here. A, D you, you find it. How you are going to find the D value anyhow it will be same. D value will be. 3 uh, always a2 minus a1 no this is second term this is first term so 8 minus 3 how much you are going to get it 8 minus 3 is right here d value is 5 you got it so if you find from starting means d value is 5 here but you want to find the d here 28 term from the last right so you have you are taking a as a 253 here so a value we have to take as a 253 and if d value is 5 if you are taking see this is a 253 is a last term and you have to take this as a first term because we are finding 20th term from the last means you have to consider 253 as a first term here so before this which number will come just you think of it because here difference is 5 is there so if you subtract 253 minus 5 you have to subtract 5 from this. Correct? No. Then only you will get the before term. So, here anyhow this uh, in AP is increasing here. Right? No. So, if you subtract 5 from the 253, you will get 248. Correct? No. This is the before term. Before 253, what will be there? 258. Sorry, 248. Now, if you are considering this as a, a1 means, this will be a2 here. This 248 will be a2. So, if you are from last at 253, I will write first because from last we have to find. Next term will be 248 like this. It will go on decreasing here. See, from here if you are considering it will increasing. But from last if you are considering 253, 248, it will come like this. So, now A2 is this one, A1 is this one. So, 248 minus 253 if you do means you will get... See here, if you subtract means 5 only will come, but bigger number is, it is containing minus sign, so minus 5 will come. So, just for your understanding, I told you, if they given the question like this, do one thing, okay. Whatever the, find the, from the last, if this says means, what you should, don't worry about this. If you under, if you are understanding, just you understand it. Otherwise, don't worry about this. Just I will tell you one trick, what you should do here. See, you have to take from the last means, always you have to take that last term as a first term. That you have to take as a, a. And D value, what you should do, you find like this only D value. 8 minus 3 is always A2 minus A1 only will do no, while finding D. So, A2 minus A2, A2 minus A1 you do, you got 5 no. From the last, if you want to find D value, you have to take as a minus 5 that's it understanding what i am telling see a value you should take last number usually what you will do a value will take first number only but we want to find last 20th term from the last means so you have to take a value as 253 and d value as whatever the whatever d value will get now for that you should put minus sign suppose if you get minus sign here only means you should take that as a positive if it is minus means plus you should take if it is plus means minus you have to take i hope you understood okay no need to worry about this just what you should do last term you have to take as a, a and a d whatever will get no that you have to change the sign plus means plus if it is there means you have to change as a minus minus if it is there means you have to change as a plus okay now 
as it is you find it a20 a20 formula is what because we want to find the 20th term from the last a20 formula is same here from the last or first a20 formula will be same that is a plus 19d so a value what we have now 253 we should take because we are finding from the last 19 d value is minus 5 so 253 plus into minus is minus 19 5 is a 95 just to subtract it 253 minus 95 subtract it 13 minus 5 is 8 15 minus 10 is 5 so 1 so answer is 158 820 is 158 here this is the answer i hope you understood this is also important sum this sum they didn't ask in the exam but you they may ask this year so please practice this sum like this one sum is there in the exercise sum also exercise sorry example also please see that sum also and solve it if you have any doubts please comment and ask me i will clear your doubts and uh, one more video i am going to do that is quadratic equation videos i will do i will upload next video that only if you like this video please like share and uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to get the notifications of next videos. Thank you.